Welcome to Destiny Quick Tips, a resource designed for MCPS Media Center staff. This edition of Quick Tips is the second in a series about Destiny Inventory. So, part two, Destiny Inventory, get set. In our last screencast, we talked about dividing up your collection by call number ranges and by circulation types. At first in our Destiny Get Set episode, let's take a look at some of the settings behind the scenes that are important to inventory. So we'll go to Back Office and Site Configuration. The second item under Catalog Options is Library Inventory Options. This is where we check shelf order and also look for differences in Dewey numbers. Our options for checking shelf order are call number only, call number author, and call number author title. Call number author title is the most restrictive. In other words, it looks not only at the call number, but also at the author's last name and at the title of the book when it's checking shelf order. If you use this option, that means your shelves are perfectly read and perfectly in sequence. Call number author is a little more forgiving in that it doesn't make you alphabetize the titles within each call number and author grouping. And call number just looks at the number and not at anything that has to do with the author's last name that might be in the call number of that item. If you are not totally confident that your shelves are in perfect order, choose call number or call number author as your shelf order checker. You can also check for differences between Dewey numbers. So in other words, if I'm scanning along the shelf and then all of a sudden there's a jump in the Dewey number from let's say um, 930 to like 960, it will alert me and say, hey, you just skipped a whole section. Did you miss a shelf? Here are the options that Destiny gives you for the jumps in Dewey. Not to check it at all. Check it if there's one difference in the Dewey number, which would mean that you'd be checking it all the time, probably. 10, 50, or 100. 10 or 50 is probably totally adequate for you to get a sense that you might have skipped a shelf or skipped a group of materials. So let's just go ahead. We're going to set that one at 50. Another place that you can look at settings has to do with access levels. So let's go ahead and save these changes and go to access levels. Let's look at library administrator, which is the access level for a media assistant. If you scroll down to the administrative access group on the library materials tab, you'll see right here that inventory library collection and start new slash finalize library inventory are two permissions that you have to have in order to do an inventory in Destiny. We have set media specialists who are administrators in the access levels in Destiny and media assistants who are library administrators in the access levels in Destiny both to have those permissions checked off. So you should not have any trouble as a media assistant or a media specialist performing inventory. Okay, once we have all those things set, let's go back to our inventory module. Right now, I have no active inventories. They would be listed right here in a drop-down menu if I did. One other thing to notice about this when you don't have any open inventories is the View Lost button right over here. This button is available to you if there are no open inventories. As soon as you create a new inventory, this button disappears and you need to use a different kind of reporting mechanism in order to see what your lost materials are. That's just by way of a heads up. So here we are, library inventory. Let's start a new inventory. Our inventory name is going to be fiction. I'm going to inventory my fiction. If I could type, you know, it would be so much easier, right? And since it's 2014, I'm going to say this is my fiction 2014 inventory. 
Now, as I mentioned before, because it's fiction, I cannot separate this group by call number. There's only one character in the prefix, which means that it's going to give me FAAA through FZZZ, no matter what I put in there as a <coughs> call number for fiction. Now let's look at our circulation types. I know that I can eliminate equipment because I'm not going to be having fiction in my equipment. And for my purposes today, I'm also not going to be inventorying my professional. I'm going to do that separately or my reference. So I'm going to deselect both of those check boxes. So right now I'm looking at my Black Eyed Susan nominees, which are fiction most likely, and my regular. And OK. So here we are. I have my call numbers. I have my Black Eyed Susan and regular. So I'm picking a subset of my regular circulation type, which is just the fiction call numbers. And then finally down here, you see all copies meeting the above criteria will be set to unaccounted for, except for copies that have been seen on or after April 14, 2014. What this means is that as soon as I click OK, anything that has not yet been scanned and is not checked out is going to be marked unaccounted for or not yet inventoried in Destiny. Every time I scan the barcode of something today or after today, today's date is the default right here, that will make it accounted for in my inventory. Now usually we leave this date at the current date, but you can change it using the calendar tool right here. OK, now I'm ready to go. So let's click OK. And it asks me, are you sure you want to start this inventory? Yes, I do. Let's click on Yes. And here we are. Now, I can tell that I have an open inventory in several ways. Here is a drop-down list. And if I had multiple open inventories, which is possible in Destiny, they would all be listed here. Here's my fiction inventory that I just started. You'll see down here there's a link 2.36 hundredths percent complete, which means that some of these books are checked out as of 9.54 a.m. Every time I scan a book, it will be accounted for right here. I can upload a file of barcodes, and I can view selections, or what my setups were in this particular inventory. We'll look at all those in our next installment of Destiny Quick Tips Inventory Part 3. Thanks for watching.